Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Aries. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every Aries and will not resonate with every Aries cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Please take a moment to read through the description box as well, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I am, I am reopening personal readings for the month of June, but keep in mind, guys, I do have a waiting list of about 100 people, 100 plus pe people, um, and I'm not really sure how long I will be able to keep them open, so keep that in mind. You guys, if you're interested, you can reach out to me via email. You can find all that information in the description box. But don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. All right. Aries. What do my Aries collectors need to know at this time? Three of Cups. The Magician. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. The Hermit. Four of Wands. Ooh, so you guys are manifesting a marriage or a commitment. A celebration, a wedding, something. Ace of Swords. Somebody is realizing that they need... Somebody wants to tell you the truth or apologize to you. Page of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be receiving communication. Somebody's going to be communicating their true feelings to you or their true intentions. I feel like you're also maybe going to receive like somebody telling you the truth and an apology about something. Ace of Wands reversed on the back of the deck. I feel like somebody has maybe had a third party. I'm just going to let, let you guys know. I feel like somebody maybe had a third party, but they're no longer dealing with that. Or somebody is like has done a lot of thinking and contemplating and they're coming to the conclusion that they want to manifest like a life with you. They want to build a life with you. All right. We have Virgo energy here with the Hermit. We have Aries energy here with the Magician. So this commitment, this marriage, whatever this is, celebration is something that you have manifested. All right, we have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We also have fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Hangman in reverse. Somebody was not seeing something clearly and it was blocking you and this person from having a new start or a new beginning. Somebody was, the high priestess, the five of cups. Somebody could have been secretly still grieving like a past situation where they felt that they felt like they lost or they they had that they yeah they suffered a loss or they felt defeated in that situation. Yeah, this person was still trying to make up their mind about something. Seven of Wands, and it was causing blockages. Yeah, judgment in reverse. There was something about a decision not being made. Somebody not making up their mind. Somebody wasn't sure if this was going to make them happy or what would make them happy or, or something along the lines that what would satisfy them, what would be the best for them. All right, let's see here. Where is the deck I want to use for clarifying? Mm, where is that? Give me a sec, guys. Got to hunt down a deck as usual. Everything got moved around because I did live personal readings the other day. And I moved my whole desk around. So, yeah. Hmm, where's that deck at? Oh, right here. In my face, as usual. All right, three of cups. Fear of missing out. Yeah, somebody may be feeling like, all right, tell me about what's this mean for my Aries. So somebody's coming back to you very humble with an apology, telling you the truth. They're the ones initiating the communication here is what I'm seeing. They're afraid that they're going to miss out on, on an opportunity if they don't, you know, initiate a reconciliation between the two of you. They know there's something about a choice. This person feels like they needed to make a choice or they had to make a choice. Maybe between you and another person or you and another situation. Yeah, this person has like, you're, this person can be pretty dramatic. 
they're gonna be coming and trying really hard to win you over win over uh, your affection kind of like begging kissing butt type energy all right um give me one second guys the hermit yeah it's like somebody was caught it was at a crossroads or they were caught in between two paths two decisions ah you know what this is guys somebody was very for some reason conflicted about about breaking out of their comfort zone whether they should kept should keep live, living the life that they had been or if they should step into this new life with you that's what somebody was very afraid of change okay um position mm, let's not use my Aries so I feel like you guys are like putting yourselves first now. You guys may have made this person a priority over you in the past, but now you guys are putting yourself first. Um, making yourself the, the priority and you don't care if this offends other people. You don't care. You're, you're doing it very unapologetically. Okay. You don't care what other people think about you. Um, Four of Wands. What's the name of Aries? You could have met this person online. This could have been an online relationship. What does that have to do with the four of wands? So you guys could have been dealing with somebody that was actually married. They could have been married. Okay. And maybe at some point you guys didn't know this about this person. You met them online. You met them, met them on a dating website or online somehow. And they didn't tell you at first that maybe they were married. They were already in some type of commitment or family situation. Yeah, you're not going to be expecting what this per this communication that this person comes in with. Like, I, you may be expecting to hear from them, but you're not going to expect to hear what they say. Like, it's the content of what they say that's going to maybe catch you off guard. It's going to kind of knock you off, you know, balance a little bit. What about slow? What's this mean? If you guys were trying to get this person to, like, see things from your perspective, you have achieved that. They are seeing things from your perspective. And if you were wanting this person to like, you know, you, you maybe felt like you were chasing them at some point, but they weren't chasing you. I feel like the, the dynamic is about to shift between you and this person. And then it's like all of a sudden this person's feelings for you kind of blow up. Okay. It's like whatever it is you were trying to achieve to happen between you and this person, or if you were trying to manifest for some, for some type of change in this person, I see that happening. Okay. All of a sudden they're going to be like all for this relationship. They're going to be they're a little bit obsessed with you, okay? And they feel like you guys are supposed to be together, okay? Ace of Swords, low key. There was something that this person wasn't telling you. They were keeping something from you, but they're going to share it with you with the Ace of Swords. Tell me more about this. What? Yeah, they're going to come back. They're going to come. They're going to be returning to, to speak the truth of some, about something here that they like. Yeah, they're going to come back begging for you. But what was it that they, what is it that they've been keeping from my Aries? What is this? Sipping tea. Listening to gossip. Careful who you listen to. Benching. This still isn't telling me. What do they want to speak the truth about? That they do want the same things as you. They want to tell you that you, they do want the same things as you. They do want the same things for the future. You guys, they they you they have all they, they have always wanted the same things as you, but they haven't been telling you. They are maybe listening to advice from some other people or listening to what other people told them to do in this situation. But now they're coming back to beg for another chance here, doing anything to win you over. And I already mentioned that they're definitely going to return here to speak to tell you something. 
tell you something that they have not been really telling you. It could be their feelings because we have the Knight of Cups here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. You guys could have a water sign coming towards you. Yeah, they're coming in to try to, uh, I told you, kiss butt. Try to smooth things out. Fix this. Persuade you. Canceled. Uh-oh. I feel like some of you guys may choose not to even give this person the time of day. And it's going to actually be very difficult for you to do that. But it's like, you guys are making yourselves the priority now. And you know that that's like probably in your best interest to maybe not to reject this person. Or you don't like the way this person's moving towards you. Maybe you guys feel like you need to focus on your money. Like money is more important than love at this time. Or maybe you guys know that this person is maybe going through a financial hardship and that's maybe why you guys, you guys maybe feel like this person has ulterior motives trying to get something out of you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this person's going through some type of setback or financial woe and you know, you feel you're, I feel like you question this person's motives. All right. Page of Wands, Insta Famous. All right. They want to give you some type of recognition. They want to tell you that they really admire you and look up to you. Um... Tell me more about spiritualist. They're like, it's like all of a sudden this person believes in fate. And maybe they never believed in it before. Like, now this person believes that you guys were destined to be together. You guys were fated to be together. Like, all of a sudden they, yeah, and it's like. If you ended things with this person, spirit says that was probably the best thing that you could have done. To, if you were trying to turn, if you felt like you had no choice but to end things with this person, and then all now the situation is turning in the the direction that you wanted it to go. I don't know if you still want this person, but things are kind of shifting in your favor in this situation. Um, although I want to take a look to see here. Hmm, where are we at time wise? I want to take a deeper look at this to see what this person's intentions are because I am a little bit concerned that this person's only coming back to you because they're going through some type of hardship, financial. And I feel like you guys are going to have those same concerns. Um, so I do think I want to take this over to the extended reading and to do a quick extended and just see this person's intentions, take a look at the future, get you guys some advice, etc. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you can take something from this reading. I am not offering, okay, I am offering personal readings, but I have limited availability, okay? So if you're interested in that, send me, a, send me an email. You can find that in, in the description box as well as the links to my TikTok, Facebook, and my Instagram pages where I do collective readings. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, and I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.